Youth runner here with Rancho Bernardo standout uh, Camden Luch, 15-15-6. Uh, Top California athlete, uh, second overall yeah. in the uh, Invitational race here at the 44th A6 Mount Carmel Invitational. Uh, something about these Liberty guys from Arizona. It's Ryan Denoff, and now it's Hank Dilworth, uh, but obviously great competition uh, uh, for you, even if you're only going to see them uh, uh, once a year. Uh, but, you know, how, uh, how do you kind of uh, assess, you know, where you feel like you're at? On September 21st, and just kind of how you how you you know, kind of handle that challenge. Yeah. So right now I'm working on like strength and like moving through the race and working on my strategy, which is to be controlled the first mile and then make moves second mile. And his move was a little better than mine, so he got a little gap on me. But uh, I, my goal was just to stay, keep that gap as close as possible, and finish the race as best I can. So I felt like I did that pretty well. Well, and uh, it's such a unique balance for you, right? Because I know what a competitor you are, yeah. and, I, and I know that you're a guy that has the potential to attack the 15-minute barrier here. Mm -hmm. But again, it's only September 21st. We need yeah. to save that for November. Yeah. But then there's also a great dynamic that you're trying to, to chase Hank, but then you've also got Cooper right there, yeah. and there's like a little bit of you know hometown pride, yeah. a little bragging rights, or whatever. It's yeah. like I can't let you know I can't let you know Poway upstage the yeah. Rancho Bernardo. So you know the fact that you maybe weren't able to uh, to you know close that gap as much as you want in the last mile on Hank, but the fact that you were able to uh, to hold off uh, yeah. uh, Cooper, how significant was that for you? Yeah, that was another thing I was working on. He beat me the first two races of the season. I got him last week at our league cluster, and then my goal we're today have a was best to... of seven by the time it's all yeah, over, man. Yeah, yeah. My goal last week this week was to beat them and hopefully win the race as well but I got one of those so I, it feels great and so we're two for two so far this season. Is, is it just Cameron really just being able to, to trust in, in, in yourself I mean obviously I, I I know it's a competition but uh, but ultimately just being the best version of yourself and realizing like hey you know if I'm performing at my best level then, uh, then Cooper's gonna or anybody else in San Diego is gonna have to run a, a really good race to take me down. Yeah exactly I'm just trying to do the best I can if I know I do the best I can and then I also have no regrets and I think I've really unlocked that over the past few races is just doing the best I can putting the best effort I can out there so, yeah. so I asked Riley earlier uh, and obviously it's a little bit warmer now but still manageable mm -hmm. you know for a group that consistently is seeing high 80s 90s yeah. hundreds and whatnot like uh -huh. the fact that we still have a little bit of a breeze and the fact that it's uh -huh. it, it's it's pretty favorable today yeah. by Balboa Park standards yeah. in September like yeah. uh, how much of a blessing is, is, is that especially as a senior yeah that was really nice uh, last year the weather was even better so I know. this is a little rougher but it wasn't compared to last week it was much better yes. and uh it was even hotter before a race but it got cloud cover so it was mm -hmm. nice to have that cool cool weather for the race yes awesome uh it's just, uh, in, in terms of how you feel like all the work that you put in you know in track and during the summer and you know august and uh, and early part of uh, uh, september i mean are, are, are you just a a encouraged with your competitive level i mean like you know obviously like you said you you and Cooper, you're at two and two now, but yeah. just overall, just the, the competitive level and the, and the fact that you know, you're rising to the occasion when uh, when it's asked of you is, is that encouraging for you right now? Yeah, I definitely think it is. Uh, this has definitely been my most consistent training block, like ever so far in high school. I've building up that mileage, and I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do, sticking to my plan. Not really worried about results as much right now, but they're always nice to have confidence boost. So yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, uh, best in California. Uh, and, uh, if one of the best in Arizona is, is going to uh, be able to upstage just like Ryan Denoff last yeah. year, then obviously uh, our hats off to, uh, to, to Hank Dilworth, but obviously a great performance yeah. for Camden Luch. For Mancha Bernardo, again, 15-15-6 uh, in the uh, Invitational Division One race at the 44th ASICS Mount Carmel Invitational. Stay healthy. Congrats. Thank you.